Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. Today I am going to be reviewing Vasily Kandinsky Around the Circle. So this is a super colorful book, um, kind of thick, and it follows or it chronicles the life and work of Vasily Kandinsky. So we have some text and some um, what would you call them? Essays about the artist. And then we have a works section. So this book is, I believe, a companion to a show that is currently going on in a museum in New York. But if you're like me and you do not live in New York, um, I'm just gonna have to live vicariously through this book. So this book is, like I said, a companion, I believe, to a show that's going on in New York. And it kind of discusses the author that is being shown there and the works that are gonna be in, I guess, the collection or the showing of his stuff. So a little bit of a primer before I dive in to kind of explain where I'm going to come from, from this, for this review. I really enjoy reading about art. I really enjoy learning about art. Even when I was in college and I was not required to take any art courses, I took quite a number um, because I was personally very interested in it. I love visiting art museums. I like visiting art shows. I think it's really, really enjoyable. But I would not consider myself educated on art just because I feel like I lack the experience or the terminology to even talk about some of the stuff in art and also I feel like sometimes I look at paintings that everyone else apparently understands what's going on in them and I have absolutely no idea what's going on in them. So I like to get a little bit out of my comfort zone and also expand my knowledge on art by reading books like this to just yeah learn a little bit more. So let's dive in. As I said the first part is essays that are kind of a little bit about the um, artist Kalinsky, K Kandinsky and there's a couple by different people. They're short, they kind of they contain pictures, um, yeah, a couple pages, and they each kind of address a different, I guess, topic about his life. So this was Kandinsky and radical ecology, states of mind, states of abstraction. And he was, Kandinsky was part of uh, like European abstraction. So I will say that for me, some of these essays were better than others, at least for me. Some of them I understood, some of them to me felt like someone was just talking to talk. They were using a lot of words that I did not understand and the sentences, even though I read them two or three times, didn't make a lot of sense to me. So I do think some of the um, articles at the beginning were stronger than others. Now maybe if you have an art background and really understand art and really understand like art, I don't know what you'd call it, critique, um, writing about art, maybe all the essays would make sense. But for me, for a lay person who doesn't really have a strong background in art at this time, I was kind of confused by some of the articles and didn't really enjoy them and just kind of skimmed through them. Then we dive into the works, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, some of them I enjoyed more than others. Um, like I said, he was part of European abstraction. So some of the paintings I did understand, some of them I did not, but I enjoyed anyways. And some of them I didn't enjoy and didn't particularly care to look at for very long. Um, what I will say is there's a lot going on in these paintings, even if I didn't understand what was going on in the paintings all the time. Um, and I took an entire afternoon to just go through the works. One thing that I learned in my art history course that I took in college is, and I don't remember the exact number, oh these were some of my favorite ones here, I just thought these were really pretty. Um, some thing that I learned in my art history course when I was in college is the amount of time people spend looking at a painting, and I don't know if this was in a book or in an art museum, is very, very short. I don't actually remember the time interval, but we're talking seconds. People don't really sit and look at art pieces usually. They just kind of skim through it and be like, oh, that's interesting. But the longer you sit with the piece, the more interesting it really becomes the more you start to see in it. So I do recommend taking like an entire afternoon to just sit down and go through the works very slowly and see what you can see. I will admit that I really didn't understand a lot of them. I I really didn't know what was going on. This was supposed to be a companion, like in this one, for example. But again, I enjoyed some of them and some of them not so much. Like I was saying, uh, this is supposed to be a companion to a show that's going on. So I'm not sure if Maybe the show has more explanation because I would have liked maybe a little bit at the bottom, maybe a little bit of an explanation of what's going on in the painting. Maybe you're supposed to know what's going on because you're supposed to be, I guess, art savvy. There is a little information like where it's from, where it's housed, the title of it, um, both the original and um, the English title, uh, the year, and what the medium was. So that's like all contained in this bottom section. But I would have liked to know exactly what I was supposed to be seeing and maybe I'm supposed to decide what I'm supposed to be seeing in the painting. But there was a couple paintings or a couple pieces of work that in the introduction sections um, in these uh, 
what would you call them? These little essays, they kind of walked her through the piece and I thought that was very enjoyable because then when I was looking at the piece that they had walked me through, I felt like I understood it better. And that was something that I really enjoyed about the classes I took in school was having someone like walk me through a couple of them, kind of gave me a better understanding of what I was looking for or what maybe the artist was supposed to, was trying to convey in it. But nonetheless, I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really, really pretty. Uh, again, I didn't understand what was going on in all the pieces that was shown that were shown, but I did really like them. I thought they were uh, really pretty, um, really interesting. I spent a whole afternoon looking at them. I recommend you do the same. Um, this is just a really pretty book too. I love the cover. The cover is a piece by him. I'm drawing a blank on the name right now. He seems to like these little curves. I call them lima beans. It's probably not what they are. Um, these little half moon symbols that kind of show throughout. And this, I feel like this piece they picked for the cover is a really good piece for the cover. It's really pretty. It'll look great on your shelf or on your coffee table or I don't know, in the background of your Zoom calls at work, if you want to, you know, show off your, I don't know, intelligence a little bit. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this book and I really recommend. I wound up giving this a four star or maybe like a five. Actually, this was like a five star just because I had a great time going through the works. I spent an entire Sunday afternoon looking at the art pieces and it was just an enjoyable use of my time. I really, really enjoyed it. I had a great time and I think you will as well. So this was Vasily Kandinsky Around the Circle. Maybe if you're in New York or you have the opportunity to go to New York, um, go to the show. See if that um, is as good as the book. I'm guessing it is. Um, I wish I could go, but unfortunately I'm not sure that's going to be able to uh, work out. But uh, I really enjoyed the book and I can live vicariously through the book and maybe I'll see some of his work someday in person. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please read this. Please let me know what you think. And other than that, everyone, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.